Some countries are beautiful with great people and good food. Others are violent and oppressive with the people living in fear of the governments. Traveling to the first group makes sense, but what about traveling to the world's least visited countries? Should you consider even visiting them? We thought about it and realized there may still be reasons to visit the world's least visited countries. We did some investigating and this is what we came up with. Enjoy the video. This is why you should travel to the world's least visited countries. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Tuvalu. Tuvalu, formerly the Ellis Islands, is an archipelago of nine islands in the South Pacific inhabited by the majority of Polynesian ethnicity and minority Micronesian ethnic group. Unlike other island countries that enjoy visitors all year round, it's hard to know exactly why the peaceful and beautiful Tuvalu remains the least visited country, only recording 1,000 visitors in 2015. With calm turquoise waters perfect for snorkeling and diving as well as beautiful sandy beaches, this island nation has a variety of plant and animal species like sea turtles, seabirds, and a wide variety of fish. One would wonder why this peaceful nation with no military or politics was the least visited in 2015. Most probably, this situation is because Tuvalu is yet to market itself as a global destination and therefore potential visitors don't know much about the country. This is a country where the airport runways doubles up as a road and where everyone plays on it every night. How cool is that? Try riding a motorbike down it. Now that's exhilarating. Rent a boat and head to private atolls. Bring drinks and food. This island is still free of tourists. More reasons to visit Tuvalu include the Funafuti Marine Conservation Area. A day trip to the conservation area is a must if you're visiting Funafuti. Visit the Tuvalu Philatelic Bureau where they have hundreds of cards and stamps on display. Tuvalu National Library. It is a small local library, but you had better stop here if you have an interest in Tuvalu. Funafuti's Women Craft Center. Visit the craft center and buy some colorful scarves or other clothing and crafts. Located in a small shop right by the airstrip in the center of Funafuti, local women sit sewing mostly children's clothes, but some other souvenir type stuff as well. Watch a game of Kilkiti, a local version of cricket, or Teano, a much-loved traditional ball game reminiscent of volleyball. If you just need one great reason, the beaches are stunning. You can lie there the whole day and not see a single other tourist. Kiribati, comprising 33 atolls and isles stretched along the Ecuador in the Central Pacific, Kiribati has white sand beaches and turquoise lagoons in the vast majority of atolls that are uninhabited, thus giving a conducive environment for diving, fishing, and birding, among other activities. Some islets also have items left over from World War II battles. Just like Tuvalu, Kiribati is peaceful, yet it received the second lowest visitors in 2015, despite the country being only five hours away from Hawaii. With enough marketing, Kiribati can increase its visibility as a leading tourist destination. On the southwest of the country, Betio is better known for the remains of World War II. In the war period, this area was damaged by warfare. Other than this, long golf courses and beaches are also incredibly attractive in this area, the perfect place for history buffs. Kiria Island, located in the Gilbert Islands in the Pacific Ocean, is a coral island connected to Kiribati with an area of 15.48 square kilometers. This island consists of two islands named Bukiki and Unique. About 900 people live there. The scenery and natural beauty of the islands are quite fascinating. Tarawa Island, located in the Gilbert Islands, is a coral island bounded by Kiribati with an area of 500 square kilometers. This island consists of two parts, North Tarawa and South Tarawa. It is the capital and largest city of South Tarawa. South Tarawa is known as the most beautiful island of the country. Maraki Island, located in Gilbert Islands, is a coral island connected to Kiribati with an area of 14.13 square kilometers. This island is one of the most beautiful islands in the world with its natural beauties and virgin nature. The Blue Lagoon in the middle of the island is definitely worth seeing and swimming in. The locals prepare a special welcome for you as soon as you enter this island. Abayang Island in the Gilbert Islands is a coral island of Kiribati with an area of 17.4 kilometers square. It is the most comfortable island of the country. This island is popular because of its diversity of fish. You can go here and discover the natural beauties and eat delicious fresh seafood. Tibitui Island in Gilbert Islands is a coral island of Kiribati with an area of 40.33 square kilometers. The island consists of two small islands, Inakai in the north and Nugati in the south. It is the longest island in the country and offers a lot to a weary traveler 
in search of relaxation. Also located in the Gilbert Islands, Butaritari Island is another coral island of Kiribati with an area of 13.49 square kilometers. During World War II, there was a battle here. For this reason, there are many remnants of war on the island. When you come here, you can see the traces of these remains. It is also known as the greenest island in the country. Located in the, you guessed it, Gilbert Islands, Fanning is a coral island. It's one of the most popular tourist destinations in the country. You can come here and watch breathtaking scenery in a wonderful nature paradise. Or you can take great pictures with your camera. Of course, if you want to avoid tourists, don't come here. Then there is Kiritami Island, also known as Christmas Island, located in the Gilbert Islands. It is the world's largest coral atoll with an area of 388.4 square kilometers. There are many activities for tourists here. Here, fishing is common for both tourists and local people. The island consists of 70% of the country and is therefore immensely popular. Lastly, Abamama Island is a coral island belonging to Kiribati with an area of 27.37 square kilometers. It lies 142 kilometers southwest of Tarawa. It is an ideal spot for snorkeling in the lagoon here and has many remains of World War II. Sierra Leone In 2015, Sierra Leone was the sixth least visited country in the world with only 24,000 visitors. Located in West Africa and on the shores of the Atlantic Ocean, this country has white sand beaches and large deposits of diamonds, gold, titanium, and bauxite. Since independence, Sierra Leone has been on the negative side of history as politics, coup d'etats, and diseases have seen the country suffer decades of civil wars, leaving hundreds of thousands of people dead and destroying infrastructure. The 2014 Ebola breakout in West Africa that left many dead in this country only worsened the country's hospitality. The above factors seem to be the only reason why few people visit the country's parks, beaches, and diverse ecosystem. Firstly, there are almost no tourists. Imagine kilometers of empty beaches spent with the occasional beach hunt, fishermen hauling out the catch of the day whilst women clean the fish in colorful bowls. Imagine a smiling beach boy offering you a freshly picked coconut as you enjoy a platter of lobster and chips. What's missing from this picture? Indeed, beach beds filled with pink burnt tourists, the smell of sea overpowered by that of sunscreen, and sellers desperately trying to lure you to their stalls every five steps you take. Despite its many attractions, Sierra Leone is not even close to being stormed by masses of tourists. Visiting Sierra Leone is mostly great, especially if you seek a more peaceful type of holiday experience. The locals are friendly. Ask any stranger and they will help you find the right taxi. Even when aimlessly strolling around, many will ask Ask you where you're going not to bother you but so that they can help you with directions in case you need them this does not mean of course that they are all angels there are some grumpy taxi drivers and people with attitudes but in general people are as warm as the March Sun beaming down on the beery beach around 1 p.m. Sierra Leone is fun whether you're a lazy beach hopper that enjoys eating fish and chips and chatting with the lady selling bananas or one of the people that excitedly checks out the surf cast to find out what time the waves hit the beach at Pure Beach Sierra Leone has a diverse first mix of experiences that suits any kind of traveler. These include bird watching at Takugama, the chimpanzee sanctuary in the forest near Freetown, or experiencing rural life through a village retreat in the provinces. And of course, there are some real attractions for the wildlings under us, such as climbing Mount Bintumani in the north, Ah, and of course, try out a dance in one of the clubs lined along the city beach. The country is safe. If you use common sense and don't leave your newest smartphone in your pocket while centering a club, Sierra Leone is relatively safe. Firstly, my biggest fear is that of traveling accidents and we would advise not using motorbikes or ricottas as transportation. Of course, always check with your embassy to see what the current state of the country is. There has been political unrest in the past, but I would also like to point out that the last elections happened peacefully. So here you have the least visited countries in the world and why you should visit them. If you know of more countries, then please leave the information in the comments. We'd love to know. Also, I'd like to add that an American lady named Cassie D. Picole has broken the world record for the first woman to visit every country in the world on her own. These countries include North Korea and Somalia. Her favorite country was Pakistan. Does that surprise you? Maybe always keep in mind that countries can be safe. It just depends on where you end up. I have come to the end of the video. We would love to see you back for our next one. Happy travels!